Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today we're gonna to be switching the living room over for springtime. I am so excited to start spring decorating today. I am itching for it to uh, let everything start blooming outside. It's gonna take a while, but um, this is just a way for me to shift my mood and everything else and get the house feeling a little bit more spring-like and not like we're stuck in winter still. And it's, for me, changing up the house just helps me out so much. So we're gonna be getting rid of the pine and the fir branches. We're gonna be getting rid of the fir pillows, blankets. We are making it a little bit more alive in here and I'm excited to give you some ideas, hopefully for you and decorating your home for springtime. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Emily. I love to be able to inspire and motivate here on my channel. And um, all the links that you'll see in today's video will be linked in the description box below. Just tap that more button right next to the title. It'll all pop up there for you. As well as my like to know it and Instagram. It's all free to follow and get links for, I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to shop it. So let's get to taking down all this winter decor and get it all ready for springtime. so well hidden it takes me a minute to find it I think these were probably one of my favorite purchases for winter time and for Christmas these fur pillows so so pretty <sighs> cozy and everything but time to go after I took out all the Christmas and everything I got a little like oh it's not enough like twinkle lights so I set out the birch trees just for a little bit like a couple weeks and it was just so pretty it just added that little bit of glow that I needed because of all the snow all right so normally I switch out my rug for spring just to lighten it up but I may not right now uh, I'm gonna see how everything looks with this one um, it can't look bad but um, I just like to sometimes switch it out because it gives the room a different feel, but we're going to see. I'm also trying to decide too, normally I have like a plan and I do, but I also kind of want to um, add, since we're not, nothing is blooming yet, um, I kind of want to add cherry blossoms, but then I'm like, oh, like it feels a little early for that, even though it doesn't. But I'm like, I tend to just to do greenery. So I know, greenery to greenery, but I really like to do just hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are so pretty. And really like if you don't want to decorate a ton for like spring and summer, hydrangeas will carry you through the both seasons. Like it's just one of those beautiful flowers. Um, so will greenery too. Um, so I don't have any new greenery this year. I'm just repurposing things that I got last year and stuff and so I don't know I think I'm gonna play with a few different ideas and see what kind of feels like my mood <laughs> from Hobby Lobby and I really like these. These are very tall. So if you're working with a tall vase, grab yourself some of these. On sale, I think they're like eight bucks. So they are a little bit on the higher end, but I mean, that's pretty cheap for the size floral that you're getting. And then the vase is from Hobby Lobby too. And if you have access to real flowers, like your plants are blooming and stuff, 
trim those and add them and be so beautiful. I just I won't see anything for probably till June if I'm lucky. I like the simplicity of just a single vase. I, it's really pretty, but I think I might add something to the side. Um, I'm not sure yet. These are just decorative boxes, but I like them because I can put the changers and hide different things in them. Um, they're really pretty. These come in this nice taupey tan color and also um, black. I don't have the black ones, but I should probably order them because they're just stunning, but they're really nice quality. I have three of them, but I'm just gonna use two, I think, here, so it balances a little bit. Maybe, maybe I'll reuse these, I don't know. Let's see here. Ooh, that keeps it really light, um, but I also have, I also have these really pretty wooden candlesticks. So let's just see, take those ones out. That's too tall. Um, no, too chunky looking. I don't know, I just don't, uh, I don't like that. I think I might just reuse these ones. Those are really pretty. Sticks are glass, they are, um, you just gotta be careful. If you have littles, don't set these out, okay? Put them up high where they're not gonna get them. Um, I'm using them over here because they don't ever really throw anything or nothing ever makes it over here from them. So yeah, but these are really pretty. I got these um, in November and they're just stunning. I really like these. They're sold in a four and eight pack if they still have them. Again, everything will be linked down below for you. Spring art is also another great option for decorating shelves and stuff. like. Um, or bigger spaces. So um, Hobby Lobby is really good for art that's affordable. At Home is really good. Uh, and uh, what is it? Um, collections Prints. So they do digital, you can do printouts there or digital downloads and then you can print it yourself. And they have so many good varieties. I've actually used a few uh, from my bedroom is usually where I add the art. And I love them. These are just really, really pretty pieces. There's a piece of art that's actually a Hobby Lobby that I want to get. It's, they had it last year and I didn't grab it. I was like, I can wait longer. And then Christmas came out and then it was like, oh, ooh. So I need to check back and see if they have it. But it's this beautiful giant piece of spring art. And I don't know, there's just something about it that just pulls me in every time I see it. And I'm like, I need to add that to my home because for some reason, it just takes me to a place of peace. It's just beautiful. And I feel creative when I look at it too. It's really, yeah, I don't know. For some reason I thought I had four of these and I don't, so I'm gonna have to go to the store and get one more. These stems I got last year, like I said, and they are plastic, okay, these are faux florals, okay? But the color variation in them is so realistic. It's really pretty and they're very dainty. And um, I don't know if you can see it on there, but the there's no, um, they don't detach. Like a lot of the greenery that you find at the stores and stuff will detach. Like you can take off the stems and stuff. These don't, they're just one piece, which is really nice, especially if you've got little ones that like to tug on things or something, but they just, they're really, easy to work with and they usually come in a pack of three and last year they did really good deals on them they were kind of like a hit and miss either it was in stock or not and um hopefully they'll be in stock this year i haven't even checked i should check that before i share them but um i really like them that's the other hard part is i'm trying to give you guys good ideas for decorating and stuff and if i want to reuse something i already have sometimes those items aren't sold anymore especially on amazon which is so frustrating because i don't want to show you something and then it's not available but that defeats the purpose of me helping you out you know and so that's why sometimes i'll buy new pieces because it's what's out there and then you guys can actually shop it which is um you know obviously if i'm sharing your idea and you want to get the look that's beneficial right so 
hopefully these will be good. They always come out with a different, now I will say I did order the fall colored ones they had um, for fall. They were like a rust color. They were awful, like the hideous. So these are much better. And one, this is one stem. Look at that. Isn't that crazy how like full it is? Just do a little fluff, fluffing and you're good to go. So one goes a long way. Normally I would never recommend one stem for something. This one you can actually get away with it. This is actually a digital printout. You can order this in various sizes. Um, it's the most affordable way to change up your art throughout the year. So uh, I like the lot of matting on it, but I can change it whenever I feel like it. Balance right there. We'll add in that piece here, and then we'll take those candles again and repurpose them here. Cut a little couple different heights here, different textures to work with. It really kind of just draws your eye in. Yes, I don't have tons of color up, you know, pinks and purples and all of that, but I'd rather add that when it's um, closer to summer anyways, and I can take some flowers from outside. I know you guys don't see that a ton, but I do cut a lot of flowers and I put them um, in various, in different spots of the home and they smell so good, especially like the Russian sage. Oh. Um, uh, and if you, a warmer version of that is Mexican sage. It's so good and it's such an easy plant. Look at that sun coming out. Um, it's such an easy plant to um, replant. So you basically take clipping off, you can stick it in the ground to just keep it moist and it will regrow. Like it is such a, it just, it's just an easy low maintenance plant and the bees love it. So do the hummingbirds, so. reuse this beautiful vase. I really like it. TJ Maxx, 18 bucks. Put this smaller one down here with it. Burn. Yeah, burn. I also have this stone pot here. Maybe we'll mix in the three. Not sure. I might need some more height with this one. Pretty brass vase, and then just some greenery. great texture on it and you see the little um, detail right there it just makes it super nice and keep more creams in here um, this pillow is also from Walmart it's got little tassels on the side it's a little rougher of a material more like a canvas I would say so it's not terrible but it's just not buttery soft like some of the other ones um, but it's got a light side and it has a darker side just the insert on it isn't my favorite, so I'm gonna switch that out actually, because it's a little too stiff. I like the pillows to squish down a bit, especially if we're sitting and laying on the couch and stuff. Like I like it to just be more comfortable. A little squishier. Thank you. 
I forgot I have Cosmos. Mm, I love these for spring. These are so realistic too. I mean, they nailed this one. Oh, they did such a good job. Maybe I'll just add a couple of those in there. Ooh, that's pretty. Very delicate, nothing too much. Um, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so this is called the Asparagus Fern. It's wonderful. It's a perfect sagey green. Um, it's just beautiful. Um, you could use this anywhere. But it does get caught in your hair though. So just so you know, um, it is a little prickly. Not terrible. Hope you enjoyed today's spring decor with me for the living room. I really like the way it turned out. I didn't go crazy or anything or too overboard. I feel like it looks very light and airy in here, which is exactly what I wanted it to feel like. Coming from winter, it can feel very heavy and stuff. And this just feels so nice. The snow has melted and it just, it feels good, you know? And uh, looking forward to all the flowers starting to pop out and it'll be so nice. But I hope most of all, you've got some ideas and ways that you can decorate your home for spring. Again, you don't have to go over the top. You can put out a simple floral piece and it can really change the way the room looks. You can switch out your pillows, change your rug, lighten the materials and add different textures. That really helps a ton. So I just hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps out my channel. It's completely free to do. And everything you've seen in today's video will be linked in the description box below. And I'll may like to know it. And I'll try to have a blog post up for you. I'm trying to be better about that. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Let me know what your favorite part about spring decorating is in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.